Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it guys as always. Today I have another awesome review for you and it is gonna be kind of like a house overview and the house that we are gonna talk about is called Galahar Ferences. This house was founded by an artisan perfumer, Daniel Gallagher, and this journey started for him as a hobby and it turned into this amazing artisan perfume house. So Daniel has quite a few fragrances in his collection and I have samples of all of them, so today I am going to talk about them briefly. So if you want to learn more about his fragrances and about my opinion on them, then please keep on watching. Alright guys, I would like to start with the first fragrance that is called Berga Must. First of all, I really like the name, I think it is so adorable and I love this perfume. The reason why I like it so much is because this is actually one of a few floral fragrances that I truly adore. Well, it starts not really floral, it starts pretty citrusy because of bergamot. Of course, bergamot here plays the main role, this is the king in this perfume and it is pretty citrusy and intense in the opening. The ocean note, kind of like an aquatic note, complements it very beautifully. So the opening is pretty fresh citrusy, that's for you think immediately of summer or spring, so when the weather is really warm and you want something refreshing that will remind you of a uh, beautiful ocean coast. But actually that is not how this fragrance um, smells after a few minutes. That ocean-like note goes away pretty quickly and then bergamot that was so citrusy in the opening turns very floral. Maybe that is not actually bergamot, that is probably orange blossom that we have here. Orange blossom has very beautiful white floral scent that it is very addictive. So that is exactly how it smells here. It is complemented by the note of cedar wood. I don't get a lot of cedar wood to be honest. It is not a woody perfume to me, it is floral in the heart and it actually reminds me of a lemon blossom because I have a lemon tree in my room and I know exactly how that um, lemon blossom smells because my tree is blooming right now. So I asked Daniel if he used something similar and he told me actually that that is how bergamot acts. So that is pretty unique, I've never experienced something like that. So this perfume is awesome. The base is musky and very very soft because of notes of easily super musk, amber and ambroxan. So as you can see, really nice development that we have here. This perfume now stays the same and I like that about it. It has really beautiful bright fresh opening but then it really transforms and it is pretty complex perfume and as I've told you this is one of a few floral fragrances that I truly like and it is even perfect for colder time of the year. It is not only appropriate when it is warm. Actually I was wearing it on a very cold day and it was not too musky, it was not too sharp, it, is what, it wasn't um, soapy or anything like that, it was really floral, opulent, beautiful and I actually think that it is also unisex, men can wear it and that is not a very common thing with floral fragrances. so that's for bergamot is one uh, of the very best fragrances of this line and I highly recommend to check it out. Alright guys, the next one is called Carpe Cafe. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, probably not, but this one is a beautiful, delicious gourmand fragrance that should remind us of sitting in a beautiful cafe in a small town. And it has very delicious coffee caramel-like note, which is not too sticky, which is not sticky at all. It is not too sweet, it is not overwhelming. It is very beautiful, pretty organic coffee note with caramel and what makes it unique is actually the fact that it features the note of um, 
fur needles and also cypress which gives this friends kind of like a, that uh, piney quality that is so amazing the combination with deep uh, really sweet notes so this is another beautiful friends of this house and it is definitely another take on a gourmand friends so if you're a gourmand lover and you are interested in this brand uh, this should be the number one friends that you need to try i think it is perfect for winter when it is cold and it would be amazing for us for both men and women. So guys, the next one is a truly masculine perfume that is called That Guy. And I love it. I love it so much. It is truly masculine perfume that is very nicely blended, that is absolutely perfectly put together. It has fruity opening, which reminds me a bit of Creed Aventus. Then it has pretty piney heart. So this perfume is very woody and it is actually something different than Creed Aventus because I think that Aventus doesn't have that um, piney, fur needle, kind of like cypressy quality. This one has, however, and that is actually something pretty much unique. It also has a very deep vetiverous <laughs> vetiver base with beautiful woody um, touch. The woody aspect here is also pretty noticeable and as I said before this is a very nicely done perfume and it should be in the collection of every man so if you don't know which friends you should go for definitely apply that guy because it is very versatile perfume you can wear it to any occasion any time of the year. The next one is called Evergreen and oh my god, this is really green, a bit sharp, woody, very intense, dry perfume. Well, that was pretty much all. Uh, it features amazing notes. Lavender here as well as those kind of like pine needles or cypress or something like that, moss, birch. Uh, maybe even green laptonum. They are so sharp, but you definitely want to take your time with this perfume because it is very complex. Especially if you like truly woody green fragrances. Oh my god, you will go crazy <laughs> about this perfume because evergreen, it is. I just like it. I just like it so much. Um, it is definitely not the fragrance that I will wear every day, but for a special occasion, it will be exactly that we need some time. So the last but not least one is called, I don't know how to pronounce it, I Lauren. And this one is actually not my cup of tea. I don't know why. It is it is just I applied it and it was a little bit too overwhelming, too floral, too musky. I don't know, maybe that is just you know, it, I, I'm going crazy about other fragrances, so I cannot love everything, but it is very musky and very floral. If you like those type of fragrances, then I think you will you might like this one as well. Definitely give it a try. You can order samples of all the fragrances. The uh, size of the sample is pretty generous and they're also pretty much affordable and they're definitely worth it to be checked out. And guys, of course, I have the newest release that is called Amongst Waves. It comes in this amazing box, which I truly adore. It is a little bit hard to open. No, of course not. My god, this is one of the best perfume presentations and I adore this perfume, wow, especially when I saw the notes, I fell in love with it and I will film right now a full review on it. So if you're interested uh, in this perfume and you want to learn more about it, then please click somewhere over here because it is really amazing and you really need to know about it. So yes, Daniel has also a silk series and basically what that series represents there are five fragrances and, for example, this is a black currant silk. And what that means, Daniel took black currant note and combined it with musk. So if you like black currant, that berry note, and you just want it on, on, on its own, but you don't want that it is overwhelming or something, definitely give a try uh, this perfume because it smells like black currant, but the fact that it is combined with the musk makes it very soft. And that is exactly the, the same thing that he did with every fragrance of this collection. We have lavender silk. This is lavender with musk. It smells like lavender, but very soft because of musk. We have also vanilla silk, which smells of vanilla and silk. So if you're a fan of delicious vanilla and you want a truly vanilla fragrance, but you are you don't want to wear like truly vanilla essence on its own, definitely give this 
ferns are dry. It also, um, uh, there is also tobacco silk, which is a smoked tobacco with a bit of musk. And I guess there is also tulip silk, which is a beautiful floral musky ferns. So as you can see, a really bright spectrum ferns, and they are amazing. You can see how excited I am and how passionate I am about them. So I cannot wait to share with you my thoughts on the ferns amongst waves, because that is a hit. And definitely check it out. And I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Please leave me a comment down below if you are familiar with this house or not. If this video was helpful, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because I'm always glad to see them. Subscribe to my channel, check out the official website of Galah Ferences, and we'll see each other in my next one really soon. Bye!